In this video, I'm going to show you the top five automations that you can sell to local businesses with your Go High Level SaaS business. These automations will help your clients save a lot of time and money from having to do a lot of tasks manually. If you guys don't know what SaaS is, it stands for Software as a Service. So if you want to learn more about that, I do have a free course down below that you can check out. I'll teach you how to start your own software company in less than a day. And then finally, if you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below and now let's get into it. So the first set of automations that I want to show you is the incoming lead follow up. So these automations right here will pretty much just make sure that no lead is left behind and pretty much anywhere where the lead can communicate with the business will be automated. So if a lead reaches out to a business with email, Facebook DM, Google My Business, Instagram, businesses live chat, a text, chat widget, or WhatsApp, that person will automatically receive a follow-up message. And these automations right here are so important because a lot of times the business owner is busy. They're not always gonna have time to check their messages. And if a lead reaches out to a business and they're not responded to in five minutes, there's a good chance that that lead is lost forever. That's why it's so important that we get back to the lead as soon as possible. Because if we don't, they're just gonna go ahead and communicate with the next business that they find. So let's go ahead and jump into one of these automations. So let's just do the Google My Business one. So this is what the automation is going to look like and you can build out something similar to this. But just remember when you're building this out, the most important thing is that you're just sending a message back to them as soon as possible. So what's gonna trigger this automation is whenever someone sends a message on Google My Business. So after that, they're just gonna get a tag. They're gonna be updated in our pipeline as new lead. And then after 0.3 minutes, you guys don't have to have this, but what this will do is basically just check the business hours. So if the lead reaches out during business hours, they'll go over here. And if the business is currently closed, they're gonna come over here. So if they're closed, they'll receive this message right here that basically says hey sorry we're closed right now we'll get back to you as soon as we open now if it is during business hours the lead will receive a google my business message and this message is basically just saying thanks for reaching out someone from our team will get back to you as soon as possible it's also going to ask them what time they're available for an appointment and then if the lead responds to this they're going to be updated in our pipeline as lead responded they're going to receive a tag so we know that they responded and then the business owner will get a notification now if the lead doesn't respond they're going to receive this message right here and you can also add a notification right here as well just to let the business owner know that they got a new lead and that they should reach out to them as soon as possible so that's the google my business message automation and if we come back out of here pretty much the rest of these are going to be similar like i said before you don't want to build them out so complex you can just send a simple message that says hey thanks for reaching out we'll get back to you as soon as possible or something like that so that's the first set of automations that you can sell to a business or you can include in one of your SaaS plans so the next automation that i want to show you that you can sell to local businesses is a email nurture campaign and this email nurture campaign right here is going to be 52 weeks long and you can build this out however long that you want you can do a two-year a three-year or even a five-year nurture campaign and the whole goal of this campaign right here is to help nurture the local businesses leads into paying customers. So to trigger this campaign, you can do whatever you want. For this automation, what's going to trigger it is whenever a lead is moved in the pipeline to not qualified, refunded, or services canceled. So what this will do is basically after every seven days, the lead will receive an email. And these emails will be educational emails, benefit emails, customer testimonial emails, FAQ emails, tips emails, exclusive offer emails, and so on. So having a campaign like this will help your client nurture a ton of leads into paying customers. And if you can set something up like this for a business owner they're gonna love you because a business owner doesn't have time to go in here and write every single one of these emails and for you if you don't have any experience writing emails you can easily pay a freelancer to do this for cheap or you can use AI tools to help you out so that's gonna be the second automation that you can sell to businesses it's going to be an educational weekly email nurture campaign and also if you want to you can build out a text nurture campaign as well and you can send out text messages to the business owners leads as well ever so often so the third automation that you can sell to businesses is a database reactivation campaign now this automation right here will be similar to the email nurture campaign. Both these automations are meant to nurture leads into paying customers. But with this database reactivation campaign, you're gonna be trying to reactivate a huge list of leads all at once. So all you wanna do is ask the business owner for a huge list of old leads that they have. We're gonna take that list of leads, launch them into this campaign right here. And this campaign right here will send that list of leads a sequence of text messages with a really good offer, trying to get those leads reactivated in your client's pipeline into paying customers. So again, you can build a campaign like this however you want. You can keep it as simple as possible. But for this one, what's gonna happen is the lead will receive a text message with a really good offer. After that, they're going to be updated in a separate pipeline that I have for the business owner. And this pipeline is going to be called DR campaign. And then after that, this automation will wait for a day for that person to respond. And this message right here, again, is just sending the lead a really good offer. And it's just saying that we're only offering this for the first 10 people. And if they want this offer, they can just respond yes. So after that, it's going to wait for that response. Now, if they respond yes, they're going to be taken over here. They're going to get a tag that says lead responded. They're going to be updated in the DR pipeline that says lead responded. And then they're going to receive a final text message. Now, if they respond anything other than yes, they're going to be taken down this path. And then if they haven't responded, they're going to be taken down this path where it's just going to continue. And then if they respond, they're going to be taken back up here. Other than yes, they'll be taken back over here. And then again, if they haven't responded, they're going to receive another text message and then so on and so forth. So launching a campaign like this for a local business is going to help that business get a lot of quick wins because with a campaign like this, your client can close a ton of customers without spending any money on advertising. So that's going to be the third automation that you can build and sell to local businesses. Again, you don't have to overcomplicate this. If you want to, you can simply send out a text message at 
add a wait time and send another one, add another wait time, send another text and so on and so forth. But this is something that business owners absolutely love. And if you can get your client a couple customers right away, there's going to be a good chance that they continue to pay for your software for a very long time. So the fourth set of automations that you can sell to a business is going to be continuous reputation management automations. And what these automations right here will do will help the local business improve their online reputation by helping them get a ton of reviews. So if we take a look right here, what's going to trigger this automation is whenever an opportunity is marked as one or whenever a contact receives a tag that says request review. And the business owner can do this every time they're done servicing a new customer. And once they do that, after an hour, that person will receive a review request with text message. And then they'll also receive one with an email. And then after one day, if that person left a review, they're going to get removed from the workflow. If they still haven't left a review, they're going to receive another text message reminder. And then after a little while longer, they'll receive another text. And then after that, they're just going to get removed from the workflow. So having follow up messages like this will help improve the chances of that person leaving a review because if you just send out one text message there's a good chance that that person doesn't see it or they forget about it and of course you can build this out however you like if you want to extend this you can you can send even more reminders if you want but a campaign like this will help the local business get a lot of reviews online and there's so many businesses out there who have a ton of customers and they have like zero reviews and that's because they're simply not asking for reviews there's some businesses out there who have been in business for 10 plus years and they don't have a single review so this just gives your client a simple way that they can send out review requests really easy and this alone will help them get ahead of their competition. All they have to do is when they're done servicing their customer, mark them as one. And just like that, this will initiate. And just like that, your client can start racking up their reviews and Google will rank their listing higher. And if their listing is ranked higher, they're going to get a lot of organic customers. And then if you take a look right here, for any reason, if they receive a negative review, the business owner will get notified and the person who left a bad review will receive this email, basically just saying, hey, sorry, you feel that way. We'll try to improve as soon as possible. And then if they leave a good review, they'll also receive a message that says, hey, thanks for leaving a review. We appreciate your business and so on. So the next set of automations that I want to show you that you can sell to local businesses are the appointment reminders slash confirmation automations. So if we just click on this first one, what's going to trigger this automation is whenever someone books an appointment on the business's calendar. So whenever that happens, the business owner will receive a notification. That person will get a tag that says appointment booked. They're going to be updated in the pipeline as appointment booked. And then the person who booked an appointment will receive a text message and an email. And this text and email will basically just confirm the appointment and basically just thank them. And then 30 minutes before the appointment, they're going to receive another text message and email. And this will just basically remind them that they have an appointment so that they don't forget and then if you want to you can build this out even longer so if you want to you can do like five minutes before the appointment you can send out another text message basically that just says hey see you in five minutes or something like that so setting up appointment reminders for your client is very important because this simple automation right here is going to drastically improve your clients show up rate and this automation right here is going to make your client a lot of money without having a confirmation and reminders there's a good chance that the person who booked an appointment will forget that they even booked in the first place so this right here will help out your client a ton now if we go back for any reason if your client's customer doesn't show up to the appointment this automation right here will trigger it's basically just going to say hey sorry you couldn't make it to the meeting we understand that unforeseen circumstances may arise and it's just going to send the customer a calendar link where they can reschedule again if you want to you can build this out longer let's say that the customer still hasn't rescheduled you can send another reminder and so on and so forth until they reschedule and then if we go back out of here i have this one right here or whenever someone cancels the appointment and this one's going to be similar this will trigger when someone cancels the appointment and they're just going to receive a text message that says hey sorry you canceled and again it's going to send a calendar calendar link where they can reschedule. So these automations right here are very beneficial for your client because one, they're going to help your client improve their appointment show up rate. And then anyone who didn't show up or canceled, these automations right here will help that person reschedule. So having automations like this, again, is going to save your client a ton of money. So they're not going to have a problem paying you money to set this all up. So guys, those are going to be the top five automations that you can build out and sell to local businesses. These five automations, businesses can benefit a lot from. And a lot of these automations are either going to save the business owner time, money, or they're even going to make the business owner money. So for these automations, business owners won't have a problem paying you to set this up for them. And of course, these aren't the only five types of automations that you can create. You can get really creative on what type of things that you can automate for a business owner. For example, you can help them automate their invoices. So you can build invoice reminders or a refund or cancellation workflow, etc. So again, if you guys are new and you want to learn how to set up your own software company, I do have a free course down below that'll show you how to do so. Also, if you do sign up to go high level with the link down below, you will be signing up with my affiliate link. And I do give my affiliates a ton of resources and bonuses to help them out with their journey, like snapshots of these automations that I've showed you. So instead of going out and building these all yourself, you can just go ahead and upload a snapshot to your account and you'll see the automations that I built out. And then finally, guys, if you got some value from this video, don't forget to subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next one.